How much do debts settle for? Hey everyone, it's me, Hannah, with Solo Suit. And in this video, I interview a real licensed and practicing attorney and I ask her this question. I hope that it helps you find some answers if you've been sued for debt and are considering debt settlement as an option. Thanks so much for watching and good luck with your debt settlement process. So I know it probably depends on the case and all the factors that play into the case, but do you have kind of like a rule of thumb of like a good initial offer to give? Like, are we talking 20 percent, 30, 50? Like, what is a an offer that might make sense to start negotiation? There's some things you want to consider, like how old the debt is and how much money there is. Also, who's suing you? So one thing that I don't think we talked about yet is that there's the original party that you borrowed money from, but they might not be the party that's suing you. They can actually either sell their debt or assign their rights to the debt. And if that debt is purchased, then you might be corresponding with a party that you know nothing about, but they're actually, they have rights to that money now. A lot of times if a debt has been purchased from an original creditor, that party purchased it at a pretty low percentage. So they're gonna be willing to accept a little bit less than maybe the original creditor was. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. In terms of actual percentages, I mean, a lot of times I, I think that you want to start, I mean, below 50% of what you owe. I'd say if you start by offering less than about, um, you know, 10 to 20%, the other side is not going to take you seriously. If the debt is older, you probably have a little bit more leverage, but, you know, to actually settle a case, I'd say that a lot of times the settlements fall in the range of on average, maybe 40 to 60% of the debt is probably the kind of middle range of, of where the settlements come. You know, I guess that kind of is around 50%. So both sides kind of come to the middle. But um, I've seen cases that do settle for like, you know, 10, 15% of what the debt is. And it it's not uncommon. So if that's what you can afford, it's still worth trying. So I guess to recap, it sounds like it depends on if you're being sued by the original creditor, so like the bank or the credit card company who lent you the money, or if you're being sued by a debt collection agency or a debt buyer, maybe the debt buyer purchased the debt portfolio and had it had ownership and the rights to collect on it transferred over to them. So if you're dealing with one of them, they might be willing to negotiate a lower settlement than if you're dealing with like the creditor or the bank or the credit card company, right? Right. But that's good to hear that, you know, settling for 10, 20% is not unheard of. It might not be as common. You said the sweet spot is somewhere between, did you say 20 to 60%? Is that what you said? 40 to 60% is like, there's a really good chance of settlement. But I see a lot of cases. I mean, I don't see that many that settle for over that amount because generally the consumers are not going to be able to pay that much. But I see a lot of cases that do settle for like, you know, 20 to 30 percent. So you don't want to start too high. You want to you know start a little bit lower and see if the other side is willing to accept a lower amount. I mean, if you can't afford to pay more, then don't. Something else that um, might be noteworthy is that in your negotiations, you can also discuss payment plans. So just because you're in the situation of a lawsuit doesn't mean that's not an option. There are definitely settlements that involve payment plans. Usually it's going to have some sort of lump sum payment up front and then a number of installments after that at a set rate. So for example, if you can afford to pay $1,000 now, but you're willing to settle for $10,000 on a $50,000 debt, then you could say, I'll give you $1,000 now and then I'll make nine more payments of $1,000 once a month. And that sort of thing is possible as well. It doesn't have to just be a lump sum of money. So that's something else to keep in mind in your negotiations. I really hope that this video was useful. And if you've been sued for debt, I hope you know you're not alone. Solo Sued is rooting for you. And that is why we share conversations like the one I just had with Sarah. It's to help individuals know how to resolve disputes and resolve debts. So if you have any other questions or you want more information, please reach out to us at support at solosuit.com or check out our website. As always, thanks so much for watching and good luck with resolving your case.